I'm Devon Taylor. The Alanis family is celebrating the replacement of a new plaque and memorial tree after it was removed from the New Cullen Elementary School earlier this year. They say it was the community who helped them get it replaced. And I got the call from my sister-in-law and of course it hit me. It just devastated me and I, I didn't believe her. I thought, I thought it was just a bad joke. Uh, but once the Red Cross got in touch with me, rea reality hit and, you know, I just, it was just unbearable. Albert Alanis remembers the day that his brother Army Specialist Andy Alanis was killed in the line of duty during Operation Desert Storm in the early 90s. Well, it's definitely a better spot. I know we had mixed emotions in the beginning because we weren't notified of what had happened. In May, during the construction of the New Cullen Elementary School, the memorial for Specialist Alanis was removed. This caused a lot of concern for people in the community. The memorial featured a tree and plaque placed in its original spot from 1991. Now the plaque and tree has been replaced. That kid was something else. He was funny, funny. energetic, joker. joker. Yes, see, I mean, he had my heart from the beginning and he's always gonna be, have my heart as a soldier, as a veteran as a Purple Heart recipient, so on and so forth. I mean, he's always been my hero and he's gonna to continue to be my hero. Albert had no idea who the instrumental figure was who helped get this plaque back in place. Turns out that was Rafaela Sanchez. She placed flags around the memorial and kept it clean for years. The two finally got to meet at this new memorial site. I don't know, even know who this young man was, but I know that he served a purpose. Yes, ma'am, he did. You know, if it wasn't for Ms. Sanchez, a lot of this would not have happened. I, I thank her from the bottom of my heart. Uh, that She's just one of the major people in the community that look out for veterans and fallen soldiers. So I, I, I give her all my thanks with all my heart. Albert says the replacement of this memorial also serves a bigger purpose. It's imperative that we educate people on not tearing down monuments or memorials that, that are dedicated to veterans without being acknowledged, without letting the family know. The plaque reads, The Patriot Oak in memory of Specialist Andy Alanis, 1989 Moody High School graduate who gave his life in Operation Desert Storm, dedicated on Arbor Day, April 26, 1991. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Devon Taylor, Chris 6 News.